please listen to me. Stop fighting among yourselves. We are all humans. Sorry, I had to be quiet for the anime scene. This facility was built by the Solaris Ministry. It was created to implement their No Waste Plan. Such facilities were to convert mutated humans into weapons that serve as tools for their ambitions. Just one part of their overall plan of racial purification. Of course, once you enter their umbrella of protection, you can avoid absolute death. But is that human life? Even if you are the only one left, if you're devoid of a heart, what does it all mean? All of you want to be loved, needed by someone, so we look to others. By ourselves, we are lonely, so we try to draw close together to live. That's what it means to be human. That's how people live. A single hand cannot clap. To relieve your pain, I'll give however much of my flesh you need. Therefore, don't throw away your dignity as humans. Don't let go of your human heart. Ellie, are you okay? What are you doing? You think I am doing something foolish? No. I only did what I could. Maybe I'm a hypocrite, a well-to-do have. Maybe it's only pity for the have-nots. But if I can know the joy of giving out a little of the life within me, then maybe someday it may just be possible that one human can truly give love to another. People can do it. I truly believe they can. That's why. Ellie. After that, we went from place to place, destroying all the Southern System facilities located on the surface of the Earth and freed the people held at each of the locations. All the people that had been mutated were taken in by Nissan, where they received treatment. Those who had mutated only mildly were treated with Tora's nanomachines, which reconstructed and revived them. They were able to return back to their normal bodies. Unfortunately, there were some that had such accelerated symptoms that their treatment was not as promising. Trying to bring them back to a form that resembled a human was the best that could be done. However, mysteriously, they no longer fought each other for survival as they did when they were held by the Soylent system. Of course, their recovery from the physical pain of the mutation may have played a factor, but it wasn't only that. The majority of the people received by Nissan were those that had been admonished by Ellie and had regained their humanity. Between her work in destroying the Solon System facilities, Ellie also went around and nursed the people in Nissan. She aided the bodies of the mutated and lent an ear to those who had no other place to go for help. She was the very image of the woman who created Nissan, Mother Sophia. It became rumored that Ellie was a reincarnation or a second advent of Sophia. Go to Nissan and you will receive salvation. The news seemed to spread further about, and people came from all over to be saved, both physically and spiritually. Free from the supervision of Solaris, the surface dwellers began to unite in one place. What do you guys have to say about this? The germinating of those destined to be the body of the servant of God. As before, the humans are gathering in Nissan. At this rate. Not to fear. This might actually be helpful for us. The time is near. Should we not prepare for those who are to become the fleshy... Fleshly? Fleshly? Really? Fleshly body of God. And those who awaken God? The time has come to activate the Geisha Key. We're gonna get, like, Japanese hookers? What? What? Kane? What more do you intend to do? I cannot allow you to use the key. Kane, what are you doing? Without the resurrection of God, our purpose cannot be fulfilled. Or, are you planning on... Perishing with God, Cain, without fulfilling our purpose. Your purpose? 
You were fated to it from your birth. Why haven't you realized that it does not arise from your own free will? I've heard enough. Yes, this is of our own volition. If you still insist on opposing us... Ugh. Have you forgotten? You are my subordinates. I can destroy you if I so desire. No! We have already done our part. It's time to pass the helm to the next generation. The people will not perish. Did they die? Are they gone? Although the initial impact of being released from the limiter seal caused some momentary chaos, everything slowly began to settle down. We then began to search for the anima relics, the catalyst to transform gears into omni gears. In the past, ten relics had been recovered. It is said that about half of those are in the hands of the Ministry. According to Zephyr, there should be several more relics hidden in the land. We knew then that Solaris would most certainly be searching for them. There was no way we could allow Solaris to have them. We visited the place where, using archaic records, Zephyr and her people had been able to get clues on the whereabouts of the relics. Following the information we obtained from there, we headed towards the ruin of what seemed to be an ancient civilization. And we get to pick our party again. Uh, well, he's out. Because honestly, she's too high of a level. Let's put Rico back in. It's been a while since we've had Ricardo Banderas in our party. No, you know what? Forget that. We're going to go for uh, basically our lowest level people. Except for except for people without death blows. I level you guys off, off screen. So, Emeralda and Ricardo Banderas. the hell? Why are we so s why, why are we so small? Um. Uh. What the hell is going on here? Oh, there's a huge ass treasure chest over here. That's what's going on. And in it we get the starlight. What is the starlight? I, I have no idea. It is... It is not here. Awesome. Could it be equipment? That would be awesome. Don't see it. Alright, so I'll have to figure out what that is a little bit later. Instead, let's get in our gears, actually. Because I have a feeling this is a gear-sized dungeon. No? Weird. Let's just run this way then. And over here to... Yeah, this is definitely a gear place. Shopkeep Johnny, whoa, I'm not the enemy. My family's been merchants for generations, and we got our own ways to fight, and this is my battle. Wanna buy something? I even service gears. Characters. Uh, accessories. Because I'm pretty sure you don't have any new items for me. Wonder Whip. Your mommy sword, ooh. Here, I'll take one of those, one of those. I'll take two more of those, just just in case. Um, take three more of those, just in case. God's an ammo. That sounds awesome. I have no idea what that is. I'll take five. <laughs> uh, and then, oh, nice. An, an upgrade for a shotgun ammo. All those are the same. And apparently everybody needs to be in black now. We'll get 9 and 8. Uh, power ring. Okay, we're we're good here. Alright, let's take a look at his gear. Ah, crap. Okay, well. Ooh, he does have some new stuff. What's an Aegisaw? Blocks for Aegisaw. Okay. Not as good as a Fizzamentasol, though. Just saying. Just saying. Whatever. Alright, uh, go back and we'll do gears. Do you have upgrades for everybody? Let's see, tune up. Uh, 55, 58 from 56. Yes, okay. So everybody gets upgrades. I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm all tuned up here. Um, pretty much got everybody on the uh, the 55 output 5800 fuel. I know I usually go for the uh, the lower output for higher fuel, but I went for the the lower fuel on most of them. Um, yeah, and everybody got the uh, 60. 25, so 600 AR, Ether AR, 25. All across the board. Take a look at their HPs. Everybody's awesome. Everybody's doing good. Even the Crescents. 17. And Fenrir. It's a Dan's new one. Now let's see what kind of weapons that you have. I just had enough money for all that. Uh, okay. These are all upgrades that I'm gonna need. I can feel it already. So I will sell some stuff, and and then uh, and then I'll buy uh, these three. Actually, I already have that one, so I'll buy these two. And then I think I'm good on. Now we need a couple more of these. Let's get five. All right, sell some stuff, and then I'll get some of those AR plus seven. Um. I don't, I don't, I'm not going to get those. Oh, Ether Air Plus 1s are awesome, though. I might get those. Probably not, though. Don't get that. Uh, don't... Uh, 30. 30. This stuff is, like, emergency situations. Tank guard. No. Okay, so... Might get a couple Ether Air Plus 1s. Might get a couple Light Air Plus 3s. But most likely not. Um, most likely I, I'm good with, with the extra ARs and all that kind of stuff. So, yes, yeah, sell some stuff, buy the weapons, and then I will equip them when I can. Be right back again. Alright, equipped everybody. Uh, went to went back and forth between that blue switch. I don't even know what to call it. It's just a switch. Uh, thanks for your patron, of course. And I did switch my party. Um, I remembered what this dungeon was. So, I ended up going with Faye, Amaralda, and Satan. Satan, pretty much, because he's my best character um, right now. Right now. And, there's a church just over here. Amaralda, because she's one of my lowest levels. We get an ether guard out of that treasure chest. And, we will move on next time. I hope you guys have enjoyed these parts of Let's Play Xenogears. I've been Baller Scuba. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.